Hi everyone, it's Gail and Mixed Media Monday coming our way here. So let's say hi and hugs first. Hi and hugs to Gail, not me, different Gail. Gail, Stacy, Mousy Deb, and Rowena. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, well we are going to, once again, let me just grab it. We're just going to play in this little little crazy journal that we're doing. And I've been wanting to try this technique because my pal Carrie the Crafter played with this on his channel and um, I just thought it would be fun to try a page in the journal. I also have um, coffee dyed index cards. Carrie did index index cards in his video. Uh, I will link his video below so you can see. I'm just going to do my take on Carrie's play is what's happening. So as you know, this, uh, this journal is fairly neutral. I picked kind of the most neutral distress oxides that I had. I have walnut stain, peeled paint, wild honey, and crackling campfire. And I, it, I found it interesting, Carrie kind of made mention to this too. Um, orange is a really good sort of pop color. I, I don't know what to call it other than that. It's like when I'm doing jelly printing, if my print is kind of, yeah, you know, just kind of dull, um, I'll put a little orange acrylic paint with it and it just... I don't know why it just kind of makes it so I grabbed camp crackling campfire for that reason because everything else is going to be fairly neutral I thought maybe that would give us a little bit of a wow I don't know now I've got a um I found a <laughs> found a paper bag in the garage and I'm like, well, I hope Mike didn't intend this for anything because I'm going to steal it. So it's just a grocery sack from the grocery store. And I've already made it into the size for my journal. I actually cut it so that, you know, on a grocery bag, how it has the, the part that, um, you know, uh, what do I want to say? It's the seam. It's the seam. Um, and so it's double thickness. So I picked that to to put my holes in. I thought that might work pretty well. So, you know what I forgot is the paintbrush. So bear with me one moment. As always, I, I reserve the right to run and get stuff that I need on the mixed media day. So talk amongst yourselves. And of course, I couldn't find the paintbrush I wanted, but this one will do, I think. Okay. Okay, let's dive in. So I have my glass mat. I hope, I hope there's not too bad of a glare. Oh, there is over here, isn't there? Maybe I can set something on that. Yeah, I'll just put that right there so it doesn't glare as much. But I have my glass mat on my... Um, on my self-healing mat because we're going to use it for our putting our ink. So here we go. I'm starting with the lightest going to the darkest. So we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> we're playing. That's what we're doing. Okay. So I have no idea on, on this because it's so dark what's going to show up and what won't kind of but it's a it's an experiment and if it turns out horribly and looks awful well we're using it we're doing it in the right journal is i guess what i'm saying i wanted to do some of the um index cards too though so Okay, I might try and pick up more with my sack in a minute. Isn't that pretty? So much fun. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so 
Got to figure out where I'm going to set these kind of to dry a little bit. And I believe Carrie said that they should dry in between colors. I do have my little dryer here if we need it. I'm just getting all sorts carried away and need more, need more ink all the time. That's all right. Reactivate some of that around the edges. And I thought since some of these are kind of grungy that they might work well for this. And I would like to have some of these backgrounds for, um, you know, just in my in my to-do box to kind of play with later. Okay, those are all splotchy. I have those sitting out. Let's use this as our, sort of our mop up. I meant to grab my, um, uh, baby wipes too, but I forgot forgot the baby wipes. Okay. I think I'm going to grab one more card. Okay. This one's a light one, so it's going to be our really mop it up. Okay. I'm getting down to the bottom of my baby wipes. I was hoping I had enough for today. I think I do. Okay, throw those on the floor. I have no room. I've, I've used up all my room. Okay. So there is, which I keep my colored baby wipes too. So that just for using so we may end up using that in here too okay i'm gonna dry real quick because i want to go on to the next color and carrie's so good he he had um he has uh editing on his and so he goes straight from one thing to another so um but you know you don't get that from me <laughs> Because it's, it's all real time. Let's just say, as if it's on purpose. It's all real time. <laughs> no, it's just that Gail doesn't know how to edit. And doesn't want to learn. So, um, some of those drips can, like, go on something else. Just get them enough so that they aren't going to... I mean, they may reactivate a little bit, but that's, and that part's okay. Ooh, this is fun. Okay. Just set those aside while we get our next color, which is going to be peeled paint. We'll see how the peeled paint does. Let's set those way over, the ones we've used. Okay, let's see what peeled paint does. No doubt we'll need more, but ooh, isn't that a pretty color? Ooh, yeah. I should be trying to get it in the spaces where there's no yellow, but I just went for it. Uh, I will say the uh, grocery sack really soaks it up. Okay, I'm going to set that aside for a sec. Probably need a little more for my index cards. Oh, I totally forgot to look at the time again. I think it was 35, so I'm just going to make a note. See, I just get too excited. It's not that I don't have a reminder. I do. I just get too excited and then I just get going. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that really shows up on this. Doesn't it? Okay. 
kind of this one's white around the edges so we'll just do the edges okay which one was my wipe off I think it was that one I'm just making that run what fun Carrie <coughs> excuse me and you know I don't use my distress oxides enough I just once in a while use them but hardly ever Okay, um, so as to not waste as little as possible, okay, okay, so let's those a bit of a dry I'm not as worried about drying on because you know on the self-healing mat if you dry on the self-healing mat it can warp I'm not as worried about that with the glass over the top and I'm doing this in fairly short stints so should be okay we'll hope I think this was my mop up one should keep that it, I mean it doesn't matter I want them to all be colored I'm just gonna say I think I need more more I don't necessarily want to see well if I see the coffee dyed I guess that's okay because it's kind of splotchy in itself I just want Carrie's backgrounds <laughs> Don't mind. I want carries. <laughs> Sorry if my apron's pooching out there, but I did put on an apron today because I thought I should. Um, okay, so that's gonna be that. Okay, so now walnut stain. This should I don't know if this is gonna be too much. I'm gonna use the crackling campfire last, just as an accent, sort of. I, I just don't know. I don't know. It's all an experiment. But all my other colors were pretty bright. Now, Carrie used brighter colors, which, you know, is, is great for his projects. As I say, I kind of want mine to be, oh, I want it to be kind of neutral. Ooh. Well, I'm liking my sack, which is the main project, so maybe a little bit right there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so fun. It's just fun because you don't know what you're going to get, you know? And so it's a surprise. And um, the distress inks will kind of mute a bit, too. Okay, that's the light. So, ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, hmm. Being a bit too, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. I'm going to go back with this one. I'm being too careful about putting it in. I need to just smoosh. Oh, yeah. 
I need more, needed more color. We go back a second time anyhow, so that's okay too. Let's see, squirt. Hope I can do this in an hour. If not, I guess there'll be a part two. <laughs> Starting to curl. Getting real wet. Ooh, that's interesting. So we have the plumber coming today. That's exciting. We don't know when. That's the hard part. You never know when they're going to show up. So you kind of have to wait. And we have Addie's basketball, her first game today. So, you know, we don't want to be missing that. Mike offered to, if he hasn't come, to stay and wait for him, which was really nice. It's like, I know you want to see Addie. And I said, I know, but so do you. Oh. So, I don't know. We'll see how that all, all transpire. Sorry about the click and click. And my glass mat is uneven, which is why I don't use it to film anymore. One of the reasons. I really like my self-healing. Okay. Now, I'm going to just... Soak up with this. Okay. Uh, baby wipe. See how this becomes kind of cool and colored itself? And then you can use it kind of like you use cheesecloth behind things so that you're layering and stuff like that. Okay, so I think I'm not gonna let it dry. I'm just gonna go in with the campfire. Ooh, yeah, that's, cause it's just gonna be an accent. That's what I'm thinking. Not too much. So I'm gonna do my cards first. Ooh. Gosh, mine looks so different than Carrie's. Isn't that so funny? Same thing, but they just, I guess it's just, if you do it a little different, it comes out a little different, doesn't it? That might be enough there. need a little more because I haven't done my big piece yet <laughs> having me some fun though Carrie thank you this is so fun I feel like mine is more, it's the word modeled, modeled, than Carrie's. Like his blended together better. But, I mean, I'm happy with them. One more for this guy. Okay.
Okay. Now, wipe that up. Okay. Now, I am going to really dry these because the next thing we're going to do is, um, is we're going to put some stamping on them, which I also forgot to get out. So while I'm drying, maybe I can do it with my other hand. Yeah, I'll just use this as the top. And get my black one. Okay. Oh, and we're going to glue book pages on here. So you smush them into your paint. Then you, um, then you collage on some book page. Then you do a little bit of stamping. Um, I'm going to do script stamping. And then after the script stamping, you smoosh them again. And then you put, you flick dots on them. And I've got, I grabbed, I have some color shine Heidi swap color shine tea and I love this color so I'm hoping that I can do some of the dots with that then I have this Stamperia mixed media white it's sort of iridescent so it's sort of shiny I don't know so I thought I might use some of that and then I have Americana black acrylic paint that we would just put on uh, the mat here and add some water to it and oopsie sorry guys I dropped it and I have carpet in my in my craft room so it's like ah don't go face down please it didn't it landed on its back so there's no paint on the carpet not that there isn't already we had one time when my grandkids were down here playing we had a mishap with a little paint hitting the floor. Oh my gosh, my table is a mess from where I've been laying these. I should have laid something down. Oh well, it'll either come up or it won't. Okay, are those? Yeah, that one's pretty dry. Okay, so those are pretty dry. This one dries quick. I will give the old, I will give the old uh, paper bag that. It's drying pretty quick. Okay. So now we're going to use up some scraps and things and put some book page on. I'm just going. I'm going to use this. This is my 1907 recipes digital. I'm going to use this for this. I think and you know it's one of those don't think too muches I think I'm just gonna do that let's see I need a I need a glue page I need this okay here we go and then we'll just do little book page scraps on the um, index cards but I knew I'd want bigger pieces on this. This is going to go kind of straight up to that. Oh, one other thing I should have grabbed, I'm thinking, is um, I should have grabbed some masking tape. Because one of you had a brilliant idea. Just gonna put that down. And um, it would be cool on this, I think. So I might run over for a quick second and see if I can put my hands on my masking tape real quick. go sideways with this yeah this way okay okay so there's that one second Okay, I have 
have no plain masking tape. I'll have to go to the garage to get it. But her idea was to just put a, a piece of masking tape on the holes and that that would be kind of grungy and fun for a, um, a hole reinforcer. Isn't that a good idea? Okay, so there's that. Okay, let's do these. And I'm going to lay them out like this and go for it. Aren't they pretty? I don't know if it shows up as well on camera, but it's real pretty in real life. So I'm just gonna grab various pieces. I've got my scrap box here to my right. And I'm just gonna grab various pieces out and pop them on here in no particular order. Okay, let's see. We have that's fun. Grab a couple of these. Yeah, that's gonna stick. I'm on the edge of my mat glass mat trying to glue, <laughs> so I keep falling off the edge. Whoops. Oh geez. Okay. This one's a little bit big. Sorry, I know I'm probably off camera gluing, but you know what it looks like to glue, so. If I can just get through um, get through all the stages of this, I'll feel good because um, I don't want to leave you not knowing what to do. Ooh, that's cool. Let's see, where could I? Mm. It's all like I had so much script and now I can't find any. Isn't that funny? So I started a new walking regiment. I've figured out, I think, how to fit it into my day. And um, so I started yesterday. I'm leaving my craft room at three and going walking. And I didn't quite make it yesterday, but my goal is to go two miles every day. Um, ooh, that's a good one. Let's put that there. Um, so today, because we have Addie's game, I will be going right after lunch. But I think I just have to have a plan. You know what I mean? Because not having a plan, it's like I stay in my craft room all day. So, but I need to start walking because I have osteopenia, which is the precursor to osteoporosis. And so I need to, need to get my exercise and going. Here's a piece of music. That'd be fun. Um, anyways, so started that yesterday. So I'm going to try and keep it up every day, every day, every day. Okay, each one has two, I'm in, and the other one has three. Okay, we're going to call that good. I'll put those down there for the moment. Get rid of this. 
And I think I'm going to stamp a little bit. This stamp is from Stamperia. I've told you about it before. Um, but it's, um, yeah, it's only got a number. WTKCC184. So, see where we want a little scripty script. I'm sorry about the banging of this thing. It's just, it's just so uneven. I probably warped it drying something. <laughs> Long ago. Okay, so there's all those. So we've smooshed into the ink, we've collaged, and now we have inked. Okay, I'm done with that, so move that out of the way. Okay, let's do this one. Might cover up that glare a little bit for you. Smush again. Okay. We're going to need these again, so we'll just set them aside. Grab our colors again. Good. We're doing okay on time, I think. Okay, this time I'm just gonna lay them. I'm not gonna be too careful. Unless I see some spaces that don't have any color and that I wanna get color in, then I'll, <laughs> then I'll lay them into it that way. Yeah, so, um, the other thing I wanted to tell you is to remind you that um, towards Christmas, I'm not sure, ex I'm, in a, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be not filming for a while. Um, we're going to be at my daughter's for Christmas and then my other daughter's for a week. And I just don't think I'm going to be able to um, get filming done ahead for all that time. So I just wanted to make you aware that there's going to be a gap and um, it'll be, you know, around Christmas to after the new year. I probably won't have videos. I'll do as many ahead as I can possibly do because you know me, I have an overblown sense of responsibility. <laughs> So I, I will be doing as much as I can, but I just wanted to mention that on every video up until so you guys don't worry about me. I am fine. I am spending time with my fam. So, so yeah, I just need to mention that each video. It's going to be weird, and I'm kind of sad, I'm not going to lie, because... This will be the first days I've missed this whole year. But, you know, can't be helped. What with the holidays and all. I'm not drying in between. I'm just going for it. Ooh. So, like, some brown is coming off onto the green because of what's already on the paper. 
you know. But I'm liking it. Okay. So if I do this, I'm going to get a little bit. I'm going to put it over here. So as to try not to get brown in my um, in my green. Okay. Okay. And here. And then. Wobies. Put it right there. That's a hot, one of my husband's sayings. <laughs> He's about to drop something. My best story about that is when he was he delivered our one grandson. And <laughs> they're in the middle of the delivery. And he says, Wobies. <laughs> my daughter's like, Dad, don't say that. <laughs> drop my baby. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I'm cracking up. The midwife was like, what? But it's, it's a daddy thing. It's something he says. Okay. All right. So that was the green. Now we're going to go with the brown. That was a big wipe up because <laughs> I spread out all over. Okay. Brown. Definitely edges on this one. Yeah. Going a little lighter with the brown just because I don't want it to cover up some of those other pre colors. These are turning out totally fall, aren't they? So. times do I have to do it to get that spot? Okay. Um. See, have I done this one already? No, I don't think so. And this one. All right, so now let's get a little more and do our page. I definitely want to go heavy on the collage part because it's kind of light comparatively. Ooh, sorry, I moved my whole mat. <laughs> really getting into it here. Really putting some muscle into it. Okay. So, wipe. And orange. The last little bit. You know, kind of feeling like I don't want too much orange. I'm going to do a tiny bit more brown on this one. Just trying to cover up, like, like right here there isn't anything. This is kind of light on the edge. Okay. This one on the edge. And that edge. This edge. 
damage. weird how in some places it just doesn't want to pick up. Okay, those are fine. I am going to do a little more on this. Try to. Yeah. That makes me happier. we're going to call good. Okay. Um, now I can't remember if Carrie did this, the spots or stamped it again, but I think I'm going to do the spots and then we'll think about stamping it again. Okay. So I'm going to put these all together again. Hopefully on camera. I'll check that in a second or at least mostly. Okay, that's pretty good. I have a little, I'd like to keep it as far away from myself as I can. <laughs> I'm going to get spots all over me. Okay, actually, we could put this here and probably get it too at the same time. So I wanted to try my brown first, my tea, and I'm just going to take it off like this and That was a good one. I don't know if it's going to, you know, tend to blend in because of being brown. This would be really cool with pink and teal. Going to have to try that for spring journals, huh? Oh, yeah, it's making good splotches. It's got a little bit of shine to it. Just a little bit. You know what I'm going to try to do? This white up here is bugging me. This is not in the script. This is not what my pal Carrie did, but I've got some spots that are bugging me, so I'm going to do it. It's making me happier. I have no idea what I'm going to do on the other side of this page. None. I just knew I wanted to play with this a little bit. I told Carrie I'm going to I'm going to be trying this pretty soon cuz this is just fun. Okay. Here, if I can get some there. It's not like you can really direct it when you're doing this. Ooh, that was a good one. Good splat.
Nope. Yeah. Okay, I'm really liking that. I'm gonna say I don't probably want the white. Let's do a little bit of the black if we can here. I'm gonna move that down. I'm gonna go up in this corner. Let's see, I better shake this bit. It's gonna take me two hours to clean up after this. <laughs> okay, so acrylic paint, black paint, and wada. And we'll see how this little paintbrush is going to do with it. Good. Got some streaks too. I like the streaks. This is my streaky one, for whatever reason. Must be the angle that I'm splotting. Got my tummy right up to the table so I don't get it on my pants. I've got my, I've got my apron on, but it only does so much. Well, these are gonna be fun to save. I mean, I'll probably use one of these um, index cards in this journal maybe, but then the rest I'm gonna save for fall. Talk about working ahead, right? Okay, so I'm gonna scooch you guys over a little bit. Move over so I can work on this. I'm move these. I don't want to get them painty. Ooh, that was a good one. Okay. Gonna call that good. Oh, I don't want to use that one. Um, get a new one. Oh, I've got a tiny bit of water in my paint jar. Oh no, I don't. And I've ruined yet another paintbrush. Jeez, Gail. I'm telling you, I'm the worst when it comes to cleaning out my paintbrushes. Maybe this will be enough. <laughs> and I won't have to put it in water. Oh my gosh, Gail. There's just no explaining me. Okay, I got paint on my table. Get that up. Okay. Now, we need to dry these because we're going to stamp again. So. My little quiet. This is a Ranger heated craft tool. I did have a question about what is your nice quiet hair dryer? Ranger heat it craft tool. Well, I am happy with the page. I am I'm really liking the page. I think I have an idea though of what I might do. Um let me get this completely dry. And then I might just do it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take this flower and stamp it instead of more 
script on this one because I feel like it's got a lot of written script with the collage pieces as well. So let's put some flowers on it. it that is it okay I'm gonna put one way up here I know I might be off camera but I'll show it to you once we get her all get her all stamped up maybe I'll do the little edge along here okay I really like that I really like that that's really fun <laughs> yes okay so, but these are going to get more script, but there's, there's our, there's that page. So I just need to do some around the edge. I'm going to put it in my book. It's splotchy on this side. I mean, you could, this could just be for writing too. I don't know. We'll see as we go. Um, Okay, so I need to dry these before I do anything. Okay, let's do this. Let's do the walnut stain. I'm just going to do the oxide on the edges of this. Since I have it out. Okay, our page is done. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna set it aside for a second. I'm gonna put these back here. Dry some of the little, the big splotches that aren't dry yet. Dries pretty quick, but some of the ones where it puddles, not so much. And you don't want to get that on your stamp, you know. Not that I'd necessarily be stamping where there's a lot of dots, because I want the dots to be the to be the thing. Okay, I think you're looking pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna get my script stamp again. Okay, so where needs it? Like, oops, upside down. Don't do that. Right there could use some. Maybe right there. A little bit right there. Okay, that one's done. Put a little in the corner, a little right there, a little in that corner. And that one's done. There. Okay, that one's done. 
you know, a little right there. Right there. That one's done. This one needs some right in the middle. Okay, that one's done. And these are just backgrounds, so they're going to have a um, focal point on them as we go along. Okay. And these ones, I think I'm going to take my uh, my walnut stain distress ink rather than the oxide and go around the edges I think now carry back tis and backed it with coffee dyed paper and then sewed around it and I was just looking I think oh look I did them upside down from the card oh well that doesn't matter that means I'm going to back them all. So I'm going to just, um, maybe I'll not ink them until I do that. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, we're well past. I'm sorry. I was just having too much fun. <laughs> so I'm just going to glue these to coffee dyed paper and cut them out and then sew around them. And so that's all we're gonna do and then this is just gonna go into the book as is should we do that let's do that real quick just so we can see what it looks like in there this is a good enough spot for it don't you think oh yeah going to be great. I love it. Okay, so there it is in the book. All of these need more work. I mean, I haven't done anything since the last time we were together, so I do think I'm going to tear these down a bit. They're a bit hanging over a bit too much for me, so, but there's that. That's our that's our little page so thanks everybody so much for playing today and i hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video bye everyone